he's never gave. That is taken from a brand new musical written by Gareth Peter Dix, who's from Nottinghamshire. It's called Bluebird, and that's Our Hearts Must Take Control. And the singer you heard there is the person that is currently playing the Phantom in London, in the West End, at Her Majesty's Theatre. Here's Ramin Karamalu. Ramin, welcome to BBC Radio Nottingham. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. You have a great voice, obviously doing very well in your um, chosen career at the moment. But why did you, when you're doing the Phantom, and I know you've got lots of work on at the moment, choose to take on Bluebird? Well, you know, like, everyone's still, like, I'm really trying to uh, still develop my craft, you know? Like, I've I've got some great roles under my belt now, but I feel like so much has happened so quickly that I, I don't want to catch myself out. I still have lots to learn, and when Gareth wrote me a, a very long, detailed email, I took the time to read it, and I thought this email in itself has so much passion, and one thing I live off of is passion and instinct, and I just felt I've got to respond to this, and... When he sent me the script and the story and I started hearing the music, I just thought I w it's just as important for me to do something like this than it is for me to help out something like that. Yeah. If well, my name can actually do that, then hell, that's great. Well, I think at the moment, quite frankly, I mean, you are um, hot property. I think that's the only phrase I can use <laughs> in London at the moment. And, and just generally when it comes to musical theatre, you're one of the people that if I was creating a role... I'd want to be talking to you about putting you in it because you're the only actor to have played all three of Christine's loves in Phantom and I could only name two to begin with, Raoul and the Phantom. But you were in the film as well, weren't you? Yeah, but if you blink, I think my name at the end <laughs> during the credits is on longer than I actually am, but yeah, I'll, t I'll still uh, claim my claim to fame as a three love. No, your claim to fame should be that, uh, I think it'll be far, four years ago now, you were in uh, Nottingham because you did the tour of Miss Saigon, didn't you, and you played Chris? That's right. I had a great time in Nottingham. It was so much fun. Great people, great town. And uh, Miss Sagon, is a, I hold that show close to my heart, which, again, Bluebird reminded me of that. So I thought, what a great way to kind of go back to that sort of style and storytelling. And I know you've been in Lamers as well, along with Sunset Boulevard uh, and many other roles as, as well. These, these are kind of the big shows. When you get to the point of... of being in Les Mis and, and being the Phantom as you are at Her Majesty's Theatre in the West End at the moment, where where does your mind go? Because in musical theatre, they are the top jobs. Yeah, people say that, but, you know, I just... I'm gr I sort of, like, all these roles are the roles that before I sort of decided to give it a shot to be an actor are the ones that I said, yeah, they'd be great to do. Now I'm taking them. But what's more important to me now is my craft. So these roles, I want every time I start doing more now, and even with Phantom now, the more I do it, the more I want to develop my craft. Yeah. I can bring truth and help myself live these roles every night. So it's, it's more important that I keep developing <laughs> yeah. because the, the way you build me up, I just think, oh, my God, I better start. <laughs> I, I like the way you humble it, and that makes me feel good about that. I think that's a really good... It's, it's a good uh, character trait to have, uh, and that comes across very much. I want to just quickly ask you before time runs out, I just want to quickly ask you about your next project, because you're very much involved with Love Never Dies, which is the sequel to Phantom that Andrew's been sorting out at the moment, aren't you? Well, that's the rumour, yeah, apparently. Oh, come on! <laughs> well, you know, apparently the fandom's been writing out some letters on Twitter and on from the website of Rug, so I think I, I'd be scared to sign, kind of say anything, and I don't want to feel his raft, you know? <laughs> I think um, come October 8th, a lot will be cleared up. 8th of October, that's not long. That's a, What was that, two weeks today? Yes, ma'am, I think you're right. Two weeks today. OK, well, I hope we'll hear from you in two well, weeks' you know, time. I, can anything live up to Bluebird? I don't know. Who knows? I'll tell you what, Gareth, you've got somebody who's a champion in your cause, haven't you? I love it. He's amazing. <laughs> uh, Ramin, uh, we really look forward to, I'm just going to say, we look forward to Love Never Dies. We really hope that you'll be part of the West End cast and I hope you get to go to Broadway and do it as well. Um, and uh, we wish you we wish you well in the future and thank you so much for coming on this afternoon. Have a good phantom show this afternoon tonight. All right. Thanks for having me. All right, take care. Uh, what a great bloke. Definitely. He is He's so good at being Love Never Dies, isn't he? He's so good at being I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, we wish you well, Gareth. Thanks <laughs> Thank for coming you. on BBC Radio Nottingham. Uh, Bluebird, then, the album that's out at the moment. If you want to know more details about Gareth and his work, then log on to our website, bbc.co.uk slash Nottingham, and we'll make sure you, we put a link up there for you. And speaking of new releases, this next one is from a new musical called Bluebird. It's set during World War II and it tells the story of Roberta Jones, a wife who is coming to terms with her husband's departure for war. Now, Bluebird features a book by Gareth Peter, who also wrote the music and lyrics. 
clever chap. It's a studio concert album and uh, it's just been released in fact and so from that new recording here is Abby Finley and Good Night Dear Soldiers Lovely voice, Abby Finley, and Good Night, Dear Soldiers, from the concept album of a brand new British musical called Bluebird. So, as I like to uh, champion new musicals, I'd like to wish Gareth Peter and everyone involved much success. And that CD is available on Escape Records. <laughs> Right, four minutes to eight. Uh, a new musical album from Northampton composer goes on sale today. Gareth Peter Dix, who was born and bred in the county, even managed to persuade some of the biggest names in the West End to lend their voices to the production. And we're going to hear, on BBC Radio Northampton, the first playing, the first airing of the album. Here's a taster for you. Gareth joins us on the line now. Gareth, morning to you. This sounds good like a morning. fairly big production. It's got a good traditional sound to it, hasn't it? Well, thank you very much, yes. Uh, it's taken quite a bit of time to get to that stage, about two and a half years, really, before all the West End people recorded it. But it's been a, a fantastic journey and one that I'm, I'm exceptionally happy about. What's it all about? Um, Bluebird as a piece is a, a World War um, musical, um, generally about how people cope in those troubling times and, and how it affected different people in different ways. Um, our lead protagonist, Roberta Jones, she finds herself, um, they all live in London, and she finds herself um, saying goodbye to a child being evacuated, and her husband goes off to war, and she feels very isolated, very alone, and everybody that she cares about and loves is miles away from her. Um, so she pumps all of her energy into her war work, and, and she's a nurse, and she finds that a friendship blooms between Ben, who is currently singing the song at the moment, but... Yeah. He also has a, a kind of friendship brewing for her. And you've got some big names involved in this. How did you persuade them to do it? Um, I've kind of got a bit of the gift of the gab, and I'm a little bit cheeky, really. And I think, you know, in, in, in this day and age, you've just got to ask. And, and so I, I just contacted a few people, told them, you know, this was a project which, you know, they had to do. It, it'd be one of the, the best things I've ever done. You know, just be a little bit cheeky, really. Tell us some of the names. Um, the guy who's singing at the moment is Ramin Karimlu, who is currently the Phantom of the Opera, right. um, and, and he's been doing it for two years. He's also going to move on to Andrew Lloyd Webber's sequel of the Phantom of the Opera. We've got Sarah Lark, who's currently in Oliver. She was one of the Nancy finalists in um, I'd Do Anything. Um, we've got Stephen Weller, who was Martin Gare in the tour of Martin Gare. Abby Finley, who was um, in... Oh, what's the program called? Um, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? Yes. She was one of the finalists in that. It's re The CD's released today, isn't it? So uh, any plans to, to finally get it to the stage? Um, well, it's kind of been on the stage already. Um, I run a small um, theatre um, school in Northamptonshire called Broadway School of Performing Arts, and they've actually put on two little workshop performances of it as well to, to kind of test it out and test the music, and, and that went down very, very well. Gareth, we wish you luck with it, because it does sound... The song sounds great, and um, I, I wish you all the best with it. That's uh, Gareth Peter Dix uh, rounding things up on breakfast for us this morning. Quite a good tune, actually. I'm into my musicals. Stop laughing, Carol.